Okay, so, uh... How am I? I'm okay. I'm just mostly tired. Thank you for asking. Um, I was going to change the the, the the hype cup thing, but it's a horror game, so I figured the jack o' lantern can wait. Um, oh, I need to pull up the walkthrough just in case. I don't think I'll need it, but it's nice to have. Um, depending on how long it's how long it takes me to do this boss fight. This might be a very, very short stream, just to make everyone aware of that. Um, but if I have the time afterwards, uh, I will uh, start the bad ending, because that one shouldn't be too long. Detriments of anti magic system spells usefulness wanes at times because the exact context of those critical boards and what you encounter in the game only really works with level based systems. Many written pages of spells which aren't looked out frequently. Yes, definitely. With the with how granular you have to get with Vancy and magic, um, it's a lot of effort that not everyone pays attention to. Uh, also, problem with Vancy and magic is if you prepare the wrong spells in advance, you are doomed. March 18th, 1934. Miriam is ready. We will perform the ritual according to her instructions tonight. March 19th, 1934. We successfully gave the second death to Miriam. We've been passing living newborns through the newly made portal as quickly as we can get them. So far, there has been no response from the other side. March 23rd, 1934. After several days of sacrifices, we finally got a response. A tiny hand reached out from the portal. We took the hand and pulled out a baby boy. It appears to be a normal human baby, just like you and me. We named it Gary. And it loved us. Remember chat, Gary loves you. He's also a normal human being, like you and me. Oh, hang on one second. Apparently there was a booked note. So foresight is heavy burden to the players. Yeah, or or you know, the um the GM having to be like to to obviously you can hide some stuff, but you also have to um Gary loves you. Gary's a normal human being, just like you and me. Okay, so Apparently it there's a bug where it doesn't show on this menu. So let's double check, I've got 42. I've got 42. 43 and 44 are locked behind a different ending. So I've got all of the notes. Yes, cute kitty. Um, going back to Vantian Magic. This is a uh, kitchen. Um, yeah, I've, the onus is on the players to prepare an accordingly, or uh, obviously GM has to communicate accurately what the players are likely to come up against. Not like Gary seems like a dick. You know what? Gary loves you. And it's a normal human being, just like you and me. This is the basement from Martin's house. Gary loves you. Yeah, this is the Martin's house basement. I think this whole thing is the Martin's house. So this is where the ritual is. I go left, is it unblocked in this version? It is. Maybe. Ah, curses, it is not near. I don't know why I'm picking it up. I don't need to. Very satisfying sound effect. Well, I guess the attic is the place to go. Which, if this is the Martin's house, is up here. L5R has the ability to alter a fixed spell when it's cast. Besom is a fully fledged dynamic magic system which allows the player to adapt to whatever they need to in the moment, which I find to be less onus and promotes more player creativity, but the GM needs to work with the dynamic nature of solutions. 
Yes, definitely. I mean, obviously, I have no experience with either of those, but um, huge fan of magic systems where you can customize them on the fly. Or they're just generic and apply to most situations. Uh, either works. Um, like the the role playing game I, I'm writing, Bardic Fantasy. The magic in that each spell has a base form, and then you can just alter its characteristics based on what school of magic it belongs to to perform other effects. Uh, hey, Gary. Oh, I fucked that up. That one's on me. Gary doesn't love me! No! <laughs> what will I do with- I will do this. Uh, sounds like the spellcasting in oblivion. Yeah. Um... Normal humans are dicks. Spellcrafting, yes. Any, any... I I'm a huge fan of... Okay, that was much faster than I expected it would turn. Um, huge fan of, of games that let you build spells. Or magic items, for that matter. And, as in uh, Morrowind. You know, it carries a dick. Yup. If, uh, if I start struggling or get bored, by the way, this is going to kill me, I assume. Okay, that just blocks me. Uh, I will do the pause buffer thing to speed things up. Gary, be cool. Gary. Gary, be cool. The one downside, the one, like, my main niggle about, the, about these three games is that every boss fight is made unnecessarily difficult by the fact that you move so slowly. And you have to stop and turn around to use the the cross. What cleanup do I have to do on Halo 3? Oh, uh, where did my piece of paper go? Hang on, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. Um, it's here somewhere. No, that's Soul Calibur. Uh, Soul Calibur. So Reavers stuff. No, nope. although I think I need to do that highlight still. Oh, here we go. Um, legendary difficulty complete 100%. Uh, on stable days, I mean this with all due respect when I say fuck you. Um, as a source of system, it's consists of a number of basic spells and character research by combining the basic spell effects into new spells. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, Halo 3 cleanup. Uh, I need to replay Crow's Nest for a terminal that didn't trigger. Um, I need to recollect the Cowbell Skull because I've collected that twice and it didn't trigger. And then I have a handful of miscellaneous achievements I can get um, that shouldn't require too much effort. <laughs> if that's the case, you're spending 20,000. Well, it's not the case. I told you what the actual cleanup is. Oh, I'm trapped. Hello, to clear up. Okay. Well, that's happening on Thursday then. It should be okay. Mostly the issue is the cowbell skull. Because Terminal 8's at the start of the level. And the others are just miscellaneous achievements that I think are fine. And I'll just use guides to. Okay. 
I'll just use guides to, fi to find where they are. I wonder if um, you can do the, the pause buffer thing during the cutscene for this room. Okay, away from me, Gary. Oh, I'm on fire. Yep, that's on me. Just to speed things up a little bit. Now I don't have to press space. I'm gonna. I'm mostly just to save my thumb from. Oh, that's. Oh, oh I can go behind. Uh, this is awful. Please someone remind me on the Discord server that um Dang it. First they will be Halo. Cause I'm obviously focusing a lot on this boss fight, which is hard. I'm assuming that, in terms of health, Gary has what I believe is colloquially known as a fuck ton. When he zooms from left to right, he never hits the very top or bottom. Oh, thank you for that, Will Hook. I appreciate that. But I, yes, I assume he has a fuck ton of health. Apologies for the language. I am. Okay, I didn't expect that. I'm a bit tired. Does not. have really, really been useful to checkpoint outside this room. Although I, like, I see why the checkpoint's in the room, because that's the long cutscene to get through, but being able to see if the pause buffer thing applies during the cutscene, oh, would have been really useful. And but does actually have, oh. I'll have to pause to reach out. This is... This is miserable. Amber does actually have advanced units magic system as well, but the spells are meant to be quick, near automatic responses to events and not general purpose solutions. Which is obviously the whole point of that kind of spellcasting. When he starts moving for a long while, that's when he's preparing his left right dashes. I was wondering about that, Will Hawk, thank you. So that's when I should head to the top or bottom. Thank you for the advice. Also, I totally thought the purple areas were places I couldn't go, and uh, that was on me for assuming that. Read that situation. Trapped by the, uh, the seal if it spawns in the wrong, uh, like on you, or is there a check in the code to make sure it doesn't do that? That was very close.
Hey, Gary, could you, uh... I got stuck on the seal. Dang it! That's how I was a traditionally get advanced in type magic since my... The better more formally trained caster should be able to adapt to create on and fly better than to head which is... Yeah, I, I'd give, like, formally trained magic users more options. Whereas head witches would be more along the lines of fewer options but more specialized. I get the final achievement in this, which is rough. Oh, is that the, uh, yeah, go through marathon without dying? Yeah, that does seem miserable. Uh, good luck with that, though. If, if you, uh. Can I ever guess which fight you die on? Is it, is it, is it this one? I have the utmost respect for people who put the, like all the time needed in put the time into a game needed to um to do no hit runs. Because I just don't have that in me. It doesn't appear to go to the left or right either, like to the edges of the screen. If I keep with patience, maybe I'll submit it to the run speed. Oh dear. Yeah, now I'll stick with the any percent speed runs. Although I, I would watch the heck, the ever living heck out of it, out of the uh, no hit true ending marathon mode. I just wouldn't, you know, do it. Although I do suspect that the any percent of this will be the nope ending. That just seems like the, the fastest way to do stuff. And that just seems a little boring. D&D the magic system in D&D is one of the bigger issues I have with it. Yeah, I mean, the magic... My main thing with D&D's with magic is the... How it actually works in the narrative. Oh, I've cast the spell. I've forgotten how to do it. it. Just doesn't jive with me. Especially when they use terms like, you know the spell, like spell known. I got stuck again. Read just the uh, cushion behind me. It's also by far the worst part of this fight. Yeah. Yeah, then. They're not great. That was on me for I I you know uh, I, I was I, that's that's on me for ch checking this, how like where you can walk on the seal. I also don't think it'd be that much easier if the seals weren't there because they do spawn randomly. If you get the perfect placement, like I'm doing right now, you know, I say that. Like, they don't do anything. Also, they only have a, they only have collision in the bottom half. I guess.
Gary. I mean this with all possible lack of respect. I do not love you. And... I'm starting to suspect that you might not be a normal human like you and me. Well, like everyone else and me. Just a thought. Just a... Just a suspicion. The barest hint of a possibility, in fact. Okay, I assume that's phase one. I assume there's more than one phase. It's just on the forefront of body horror. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. Yeah, I, re I realized I'd have to redo the pause buffer between phases. I, uh, yeah. I think. If uh, Beardorf was really committed to these seals, just give Gary less health in this phase. That's the main issue I'm having, is it's just taking too long and I'm getting bored. Because there isn't that much to do in terms of like controls. It is literally just up, down, left, right in space. I'm kind of getting bored, which is not ideal in a uh, final boss fight. Definitely a bullet sponge fight, yeah. Well, which, you know, never fun. But speaking of bullet sponges, uh, I have pre-ordered a... Well, I say pre-ordered. I have bought... Ah, dang it, I'm flustered. A, um... PS5. So... If people want, I can, um... Damn! Damn man blast! Uh, I can play Uncharted. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Because I know the enemies in the Uncharted series get, like, incredibly bullet spongy. And as I technically owned a PS4, but it broke pretty shortly after I got it, um... Boring stuff is worth it for phase three. Yeah, but if I die in phase three, I've got to go through the boring stuff again. Um, the Uncharted series has always been on my list to play. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, I thought it was going to go left and right. Misread that entirely. You're interested in seeing you play it? Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. But that's that's a long ways away, because Thursday apparently is now Halo 3 cleanup. Um, and then, you know, the the next game on the schedule is Breath of the Wild, which is going to take... Oh, OBS, really? Which is going to take a long time, with break for... At least one break for Dead Space. Um, and we'll see how long Breath of the Wild takes. I'm hoping that by using the Amiibo... Um, unlocks. I'll speed things up because I'll have access to the, you know, the strong weapons. Hit the three cleanup Cortana makes mistakes. No, the Master Chief Collection is a buggy piece of sugar, uh, is the cleanup subtitle. I'm bored. Can I not just set Gary on fire, please? That would just... I'd like to finish this today, is the thing. I don't want it to just be an entire, what, hour and 40 minute video of this fight.
mostly because A, as I said. I Please? Oh! That was... That was incredibly lucky. I should not be alive. Oh, you can speed up the, speed up the animation. Hey, can I get this horror to clear off? If I do enough damage to it. Or is this about dealing damage to Gary? <laughs> Turn too quickly. Never shared life pool. Oh, okay. So there's that, at least, I suppose. I will say... I'm having one of those situ situations where I've enjoyed, a, like, I've really enjoyed this trilogy, this, the, the, the Unholy Trinity. But this is one of those situations where I can very much see this is going to spoil my enjoyment of the game. I mean, yes, I know this is, this is, like, you have to go out of your way to get this, but this, to this boss fight. But it still is going to color my, uh, oh, okay, I'm stuck. Color my, my my recollection. Oh, the games were inspired. Some more enjoyable as a climax. It really was. It really was. That was that was a, that was a really enjoyable fight. Like if it it was diff like it felt difficult. but was doable. This just feels like I'll get through it eventually, just by dint of having the perfect run with the seals and you know, interpreting whether he's going to chase me or go left to right. This is this is a this is a bash your brick against the wall until you win boss fight rather than you know, one you actually want to do. But I'll do it, because I'm here. Separate HI with DD magic isn't the system, but rather most spells are combat are combat adjacent spells, or are very few spells which are social or government. So, yes. Well the issue there is of course DD has no social combat mechanics. At all. Um, in fact, DD's social combat mechanics are hey, charm person, I'm gonna mind control you. Which is an issue in and of itself. Mortis. Oh, hey, I got achievement. Master of Mortis. I guess I died enough times. I'm also struggling to read Gary's hurt box, particularly with his hands. Oh, okay, no, I just went to a side. Particularly with his hands. It was a lot worse than the initial patch, but it's still very jank. Oh gosh, I, I'm so glad that it. This has at least been patched. Was it just more health in the initial patch? Damn it. Just had an extended hitbox and so did the seals. Oof. It, it, when it, like I play a lot of games, obviously, 
Um, I've been streaming part time for like three years now. Um, and this, the boss fights like this always feel like one of those. They spent too long trying to think if they could, to figure to ask if they should moments. Yeah, no, the Gara's health is absolutely the problem here. The phases just take too long. Like the second phase, obviously I can't comment on. I, I don't have it. I don't understand it properly yet. Well, I probably do, but I haven't figured out how to do it cleanly. But yeah, it's just Gary's health is too high. I have two personal bugbears when it comes to games that involve health pools. This is more or less the same as the Malthus causing problems as well. I assumed it, it was. Um, bugbear number one, bullet sponge. Bugbear number two, infinite spawning enemies. That's it. Those are my. Those are like two, two greatest gaming sins with, in games that require you to deal damage to opponents. Because one just drags out the fight, and the second one makes you kind of feel like, why am I doing this? Okay. Not having health bars, at least for bosses, is mine. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely up there. So it's not like Savage Wars have tried to address the math mechanical problems. He twenty did nothing to address the lack of social combat. Yeah, th the trouble with social combat is um, a lot of the time they go the other way with it, and it just becomes as complex as physical combat. So I've got the Song of Ice and Fire role playing game. I'm stuck. I'm gonna die. Ooh, that's close. And that has social combat that is every bit as involved as the actual combat. Hey, if that seal could peace off. Or peace out, sorry. There's, the, the, there's that, obviously, or uh, if they're not overly involved, they do very little to the game. Because technically, Chronicles of Darkness has social combat in its door system, but oh, I'm stuck because of the seal. Oh, yep. Um, but the, it's just... It's a simple system that is very... just adds an unnecessary layer of complexity, if that makes sense. I, I can see where Onyx Path were, were what Onyx Path were going for with with the door system. I just don't think it was terribly well implemented. Also, side note: this boss fight sucks almost as much as Gary. Please, thank you. A weird hitbox. That was what I was trying to do. I was trying to get them both at the same time. Oh, that's an issue. Forgot it was five and not four. This time requires them to be flexible because there's so many more degrees of freedom to shorten long-term social combat than the physical combat. It is definitely the case. I think the issue I have with a lot of systems that are that try for social combat is they either treat it like 
normal combat and assign a health value. What is social combat? Okay, Kiwi. So, um, social combat and TTRPG specifically is, is where you're using like debates or philosophical arguments, or you're trying to sway a crowd to your opinion um, against someone else. Um, and a lot of them either just resolve as a single role, which is could, can be unsatisfying depending on what you enjoy, or they uh, they just add too many layers of complexity, or they treat it like I'm stuck. Or, or it's treated like um, normal combat and health values are assigned and it just becomes a long, I'm stuck again, a long drawn out process. Like I have ideas to fix that, which I'm working towards in my next with my next project. Because at first you were thinking argument. Yeah, the argument is, is, is the, the simplest form of a social combat. But it, it's more than just an argument. So ideally, I now want to stand on this side of the room, while Malthus is on the side of the room. Okay, that's phase two done. Let's reapply that. You have ten hits in phase three, good luck. Oh, okay. God, take this cup from me. Uh, see, the issue here is... Spomination's power is too great. The issue here is I, um... I don't... I, I don't bullet hell. I can't bullet hell. I get too overstimulated. There's too much for me to process. So this is going to be fun. And yet it is not the end. some divine intervention at last. Music's cool though. Yes Lord, I feel that out with me. Save your bit though, when you win you have to set yourself on fire. Okay, thy saving grace transfigures me. Probably shouldn't stand in. Nope. Power to save myself and those I love. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I can't go on like this forever. Like now? Thank you for telling me I had to do that, Will Hawk. I think I appreciate that so much. I didn't want to have to redo that again. Oh, hey, Amy. Oh, 
At least we got last time. Oh, thank you. No, I'd completely forgotten Warhawk, thank you. Gary, you fucked up. That makes you the most human of us all. Oh, he just got bored. You die in phase three, guess where you start? Hmm. Is it phase one again? Amy, I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you. I got it. Yes. I'm a genius. Good thing I didn't... Good thing I was like, is this a cutscene? No, no, it was not. Amen. Amen. Father Garcia with a shotgun. You wait there, the game says you could use the cross now? That's pretty cool. Yes. When I encountered down there was truly unspeakable, but I destroyed it with the help of the Lord. And with chat's help. You destroyed a mighty people that disrupted the prophets above. But the unspeakable is still out there. It must be hunted down and destroyed. Oh gosh, chat, who, who should I go with, Lisa or Father Garcia? Shotgun Priest? You know what? I was probably going to go Father Garcia anyway, but when you put it as Shotgun Priest? Yes, Father Garcia. Oh, the... The Predator Hand Clasp? Maybe at some point I'll do another good ending and pick Lisa. The mother, the daughter, and the unclean spirit achievement. Get the same ending with Lisa? Oh, okay. Maybe I won't then. Maybe I'll do that by myself just to be like, hey, I did the final boss again because I hate myself. It's just holding her hand instead of the bread of the handshake. That makes sense. Well, I'll, as is my want, I'll let the credits play out. And then uh, I'll do my review. Why not? Oh, speaking of reviews, it turns out that all of the scorn apologists who have been calling me an idiot for not understanding the law, uh, I didn't understand the law because the law's not in the game. It's in a separate book. 
Yeah, I, I, I saw the last two notes from the bad ending. Um, how long does the bad ending take? I have about half an hour. Because if I've got enough time, I'll do it. If I don't, I'll save it. Ten minutes? Oh, I'll do that then. I'll, get, I'll do my review first, because um, technically I've finished the game. Uh, but then I'll go, go back and do the bad ending. I expected it wouldn't be long, considering you know part of everything. Oh, I guess this is the credits for the entire thing. Right, that makes sense. Um, do I have just a blank thing that says faith? I do, because I have the PNG. So I'll let the credits play out and then swap over to do the review and then come back for the bad ending. Gary loves kimchi, apparently. Still haven't had, still haven't had kimchi. Definitely gonna have to buy the soundtrack though. I say that like I do anything with the soundtracks. I buy them, I download them, and that's it. Although I, I guess with, with Angel being back in the office now, she uses Spotify when she works, so I have something to listen to when I'm working. So I guess before Thursday, I need to figure out how to get the achievements I'm missing in um, Halo 3 and plot a route through the game. I think definitely the first thing I'll try to do is get collect the terminal and the skull um, things, just in case those are like memory issues. Thank you for playing. No, oh, Edwolf, thank you for making a very good trilogy. <laughs> oh, what a pleasant noise that was. So where is this demons and oh that's you know I like green I could see that where is this demons enabled not yet unlocked I assume you have to like get everything to unlock that the no hit thing oh right uh, the background I got. yeah yeah, I'm never going to be able to turn the demons off then. That's totally fine. I really like that. That's what I'm using. That's very pleasing on the eyes. Anyway, uh, I guess for now I'm going to stop the recording, YouTube. Don't go anywhere. But stay safe, healthy, and wholesome while you don't go anywhere. <laughs>